Hi everyone, this is Sarah from System Dynamics, and today we're going to go over how to craft your brand identity for online marketing. Crafting a great brand identity is crucial for standing out in the online world. We're talking about the collection of elements that define your brand and make you stand out. This will include your visual content like photos and graphics, as well as your online communications like blog posts or email blasts. In this video, we'll go over how you can craft a great brand identity and why it's important to do so. So, where do we start? Arguably, the most important element of your brand identity is your logo. Here at System Dynamics, we work with real estate and mortgage professionals, most of which work for a company that already has an established logo. If this is the case for you, it's important that you utilize that logo and incorporate it into your brand. If you have your own logo or want to create one, you want to focus on making it distinctive and simple, something memorable and with longevity, easily replicable and consistent. The next aspect you want to think about is the tone of voice of your brand. This will include the verbiage in your blogs and email blasts, as well as any captions on your social media pages. Your tone and voice may change slightly based on the nature of the platform you're marketing on, but there should be a consistent thread tying together all of your text. This could be a tagline, a mantra, or a mission statement that informs all of your communication to your consumers. Lastly are going to be your colors and fonts. Choosing the right colors and fonts to use in your visual communications can have a real effect on their tone. If your brand is bold and bright, muted colors and serif fonts won't be effective in conveying your brand's personality. If you're going for a modern, professional vibe, bright colors and cursive fonts just won't work for you. Let's quickly recap. Your brand identity is going to include a distinctive, simple, and timeless logo, a consistent tone and voice, and colors and fonts that match the style and messaging of your brand. Now that we know what's going to be included in your brand identity, let's talk about some things you should consider when you start to craft it. The three Ps. First is going to be your brand's purpose. Why does your brand exist? Why should consumer choose your brand? Solidifying the core values and mission of your brand will serve as the foundation for creating a consistent and authentic brand identity. 84% of consumers say that authenticity is one of the most important things they look for when choosing a brand. So transparency and authenticity are key. Use your brand messaging to communicate your mission and goals with potential clients or customers. If you can build something up utilizing your brand's purpose, you'll be able to craft a brand identity that is consistent and authentic. Next is your brand's promise. What are you offering your customers that makes you stand out from your competitors? What kind of experience are you going to offer your customers? You might promise amazing response rates or a personal and down-to-earth approach. Ideally, this promise you make to potential customers should go hand-in-hand -hand with your brand's mission and core values. Whatever your brand's promise is, promote and emphasize it in your branded communication. Lastly is your brand's personality. Like we talked about earlier, solidifying your brand's voice and tone is crucial. Do you take a more formal or informal approach? What are the opinions of your brand? Identify the key characteristics of your brand and use those to inform design and communication choices. The personality you create for your brand should help make you identifiable to potential customers. Becoming recognizable to consumers will promote brand loyalty and allow you to build your client base. Let's quickly recap. The three P's that'll help you craft your brand identity are purpose, promise, and personality. Solidify the core values of your brand, what promise you want to make to potential customers, and identify the key characteristics of your brand's personality. The last thing I want to cover has to do with your target audience. When it comes to deciding on and marketing to your target audience, it's important to create what's called a buyer persona. A buyer persona is a fictional representation of the type of person you want to sell your product to. Knowing who you're trying to market to will help you craft your online messaging so that it's most effective to your target audience. You'll want to do some research on what your buyer personas are looking for. Talk to current customers and see what made them choose your brand, or track social media trends from the demographic you're trying to reach. Solidifying a buyer persona will inform your email communication, your social media content, and where your ad money is allocated in the most efficient way possible. We covered a lot of ground today, so let's recap. We talked about logos and language, as well as colors and fonts. Then we talked about the three Ps, purpose, promise, and personality. And lastly, we covered buyer personas and why you should invest time in them. That's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment down below. 
And if you want to learn more tips and tricks from System Dynamics, be sure to subscribe and follow us on all of our other social media channels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!